Hello, my name is Dale Segoy and I'm an Applications Engineer for Keithley Instruments. This is going to be a short instructional video on how to do the fastest scan possible on the Model 3706. Okay, here's how to do a fast scan with the Model 3706 from the front panel. First thing we need to do is select the function we're going to measure. Let's just choose DC volts. We're going to set up DC volts for its fastest capability. So let's do that. Just hit the config button and DMM and function. Function's already at DC volts, so that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to range. We want to fix the range because if we don't fix the range, it takes time to auto range. So let's do that. We just when it's blinking on range, we just press enter. And I'm going to choose the 10 volt range using the left arrow key. Enter. And then we'll go over to NPLC, number of power line cycles. That's the integration rate on this integrating A to D converter. So once it's blinking on NPLC, we we'll press enter. And the default is one PLC, which is 16.67 milliseconds. Well, if we hit the wheel, It'll go into the edit mode, and we can go to the fastest mode, all the, one, all the way down to 0 .0005 PLC. That's very fast. Press enter. Takes a second to think about it, and then comes back out. What else do we have here? When you see the arrow over here, you know there's more information. Auto delay. Well, we want to turn that off. Auto delay is a feature where we put in a specific delay for every function or range. On this capability, we're just going to turn that off. So we hit enter, go over to off, enter again, back to this display, go to auto zero. Auto zero is a function where it can go through the four phases in the A to D conversion process. We can turn that off. That'll speed things up. So if it's blinking on auto zero, press enter, just go to off. Hit enter, filters off already, we don't need to do anything else. If we hit exit, we're all set. Now we'll set it up for 10 channels on DC volts. Oh, we have to also uh, set that as, uh, we have to uh, save that, I'm sorry. So measure, go over to save, enter, my DC volts, that's the default name, let's just leave it at that, great. Okay, now we'll set up the scan list. So if we were to just hit the button, the wheel, go to slot one, channel one, hit the button again, we'll go up to 10 channels, hit it again. Now it's blinking on function. Here's the key. We're going to scroll over to my DC volts, which we just set up. Enter. And of course, always important, after you set that up, hit insert, it'll add it to the scan list. Now, that's going to go through those 10 channels. Let's go through those 10 times. So, all we need to do is press config, scan, and go all the way over to the right for scan count. Once it's on scan count, you press enter, and we can set it up for press the button, set it up for 10. So we'll go through 10 channels 10 times. Enter. Exit. Of course, now we have to store it. Store. Create. Front panel buffer 1 is fine. We know it's going to be 100 readings. So let's just set it for 100. Enter. When you do that, exit. You notice a little asterisk comes up saying it's ready to store. If we were to hit scan, black, uh, select background, hit enter. Now watch your front panel. It's going to go fast. Oh, it's done. Okay, now let's prove that this actually did this. That was pretty quick. So let's see. If we were to hit recall, oh there's the data. Slot 1, channel 1, reading number 1 at this time. Let's just take a look at this. Let's says 
uh, 16 hours, 27 minutes, 31 seconds, blah, blah, blah. But if we look at 31.7 seconds, okay, keep that in mind for number one. Now we can just scroll through. We, there's all the data over and over again. If we go all the way up to 100, and we can see how fast it was. There, at reading 100, now it was 31.8. And what was it before? 31.74. So this basically went in less than 100 milliseconds through 100 channels. And as you can do a quick calculation, that's about a millisecond per channel. That's the fastest scan you can get on this card. That is how to set this up.